Use code 8 Dave to save 5% on your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store, where qualified orders receive free shipping Canada-wide. Support the channel and visit facetofacegames.com today. So here is another lot of cards that I picked up locally just recently. It's a random buy type of thing. I'm not entirely sure what's all in here, so it should be pretty fun to look through it now. See if there's anything cool. Yeah, just uh, get my camera situated here. That should be good. Uh, so this is from someone that used to play, and they're just basically, you know, selling off their old collection. Don't play it anymore, I guess. I saw uh, a few of the cards that are in here, and there's a couple of good things. Like, uh, I think the most expensive thing I saw was a Primordial Hydra, like, you know, $20-ish. But it's a pretty decent card, right? Uh, so I paid... Around 110 Canadian dollars for this, so like, it's another one of these lots where I'm not looking for anything huge, but just you know, it'd be cool if I could find some uh, some some good cars to chuck in my binders to fill in some some sets and things like that. And if I you know find anything big that I wasn't expecting, then it's just a bonus. Except there's a couple of dual decks in here. There's the Heroes versus Monsters one. This is an empty box. Uh, in this dual deck, there's nothing good, I think. Like, I'm pretty sure the best card is a Sun Titan, which has been reprinted a million times. Is that this one? Uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the Heroes versus Monsters one I'm looking at right now. Uh, Mountain Forest, sure. Yeah, <laughs> not much in that one. And then there's also, is this an empty box? No, there's something in here. There's the Is It versus Golgari dual deck and the Chase versus Rascal one. There is good stuff in the Is It versus Golgari one. I think the biggest card in it is Life from the Loam, which is actually you know, a pretty decent hit, right? Assuming it's still in here, but I'm just guessing that it probably is. There's Golgari Grave Troll, which, you know, was big at one point. Not so much anymore. Seeing as it's banned in modern now. Uh, there should be an Isochron Scepter in here too. It's a pretty decent card. Some of these have a little bit of play, but they're not so bad overall. Oh, there's some old cards in here. Interesting. Anoint. I'm gonna go through those through those uh, old cards a little bit more slowly. Not particularly familiar with every old card. So hard to read the white name on the white card there. Uh, they said they took out all of the, uh, the cards that they thought were good, so I guess like the rares and mythics and put in one of these other boxes, so there might not be any in these, uh, that I'm looking through here just now. Still gotta look through them all. Goblin, Vandal, I don't think that's worth anything, right? But it's a cool goblin, so I'm gonna take it out. Because I like goblins. Uh, Spore Frog, you know, for a common, I think that it's not bulk anyway. A revised smoke. It's kind of cool. That is revised, right? Yeah, I believe so. So many of this card. Order of whatever that says. Prismatic Circle. That's an interesting one. I'll just check it anyway. Because I'm not super familiar with every old card. 
They've got this written as a mystery box. I don't know what that means. Let's find out. I'm assuming it's just a bunch of random commons and uncommons, but we'll see. Crypt Incursion, you know, it's a common from Dragon's Maze, but it's actually not a bulk common. There's a Brainstorm that's from the Is It Versus Golgari deck. It's kind of almost bulk at this point. Been printed quite a few times at common. So not so much in that mystery box there. Uh, I think there's not much in these either. I saw I took a brief look through these uh, deck boxes, and it seems like it's a, all artifacts from. Uh, Scars and yeah, these kind of sets here. After this one, I'll probably move over to that uh, box where they said they put their rares and mythics and stuff. Yeah, Nihil Spellbomb, it's playable. Can put that in my Jun deck. I have an English one. I think right now I'm playing a French one. There's a Mishra's War Machine. Was that Chronicles or something? Oh, there's an Is It? Oh, yeah, from the from the dual deck. Is it Signet? Just make sure I didn't miss any other. I think there's only one signet in the dual deck anyway. Yeah. Alright, so we've got this box, which is feels completely full. These boxes are actually full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This was another lot of cards they were selling. I just took both of them. Uh, there's this one, though, is where they said they put what they consider to be the good stuff. The Foil Abhorrent Overlord. Kiora. You know, a lot of these cards, at once they did have value, but not really anymore. Voice, it actually does have a little bit of value now, like, you know, eight bucks or so. Cancel up the Absolute. There's the... Thing from the dual deck. Mobsidat, once again, that was big and standard. Not so much now. There is, here it is, the Colonian Hydra. That one is actually pretty valuable still. Shadowborn, there's the Sun Titan, the rest of the dual deck stuff. Got some of these dividers from that gift box thing. Pretty neat. Or is this where the life from the loam is? Probably not. Well, it could be actually. It's a foil Liliana's Reaver kind of beat up. No foil. No, oh, this is a is this a promo consuming aberration. I don't know. It's kind of beat up too, but it's not a bad card. So this is just foils, I guess. Some rares in here, a missile specter. Interesting. That was a thing from the Clash pack, I think. Prophet. <laughs> Foil totally lost. The original Cobble Thip. Well, yeah, yeah, that was actually pretty decent. It's good in the werewolves deck. Beat the crap, lightning hounds.
Hey, a seed rhino. That was big and standard for sure. I don't know. It might be worth a dollar. Probably not. Temple of Epiphany. Reprinted. Not really worth anything. Spell twine. Figure of Destiny. Oh, that's from the tool deck. Nice. Nykthos. I suspected that there might be one of these in here. Because there's a lot of stuff from the Theros. You know, the uh, Return of Ravnica, Theros, that kind of era. And uh, Nykthos is one where if you're not you know, super big into the game, you might not suspect that it's as valuable of a card as it is, but that's nice to find. Courser. It's not nothing. Sacred Foundry? Uh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> this card, Ready and Willing, I played this in Standard, and a couple times I wrecked people when they tried to Supreme Verdict me. It was awesome. Lord of Atlantis is not bad. Same with Master of the Pearl Trident. Immortal Servitude might be like a dollar. I don't know. Illusionist Bracers is a pretty decent rare. It's very playable in Commander. Mom's Goblin Raiders. <laughs> um, Mons. Uh, Abrupt Decay. Not bad. Resonator is pretty decent. Same with Whip there. Is this the Fight Bear? No, this is the Wolf Bitten Captive. Megantic Sliver might actually be worth something. Same with Notion Thief. Notion Thief spiked when uh, Hull Breacher got banned. It's kind of funny. Cathar's Crusade is a good rare. It's pretty, pretty decent there. Still looking for that life from the loom. Also, messenger, nice. Crypt guest, definitely a good card there, and gift has a little bit of value too. A second Nick, though, so that's awesome. Death Raid, yeah. There's the Grave Troll. Doom Gate. There it is, the Life from the Low, okay. So there should be an Isochron Scepter somewhere here, too. Uh, actually a pretty decent amount of good stuff. More than I thought there would be. Did I look through this yet? I think I did, yeah. Wait, Door of Destinies. I skipped by that. That's actually pretty valuable, I think. Stomping Ground? Uh, yes, I'll take that. I played this in Standard too. I was so hyped about this card. I pre-ordered, I think, at least one place out of it. I tried to make this work in Standard. It actually did work for a while in uh, the green-white uh, aggro deck, I guess. <laughs> Just guys, I didn't see. Golgari Thug. You know, it's not nothing. It's like a dollar, right? So there could be some good commons and uncommons in here, too, because there are some decent ones from this time, like, especially in Return to Ravnica, you got, like, Sphere of Safety and Vandal Blast, things like that. And I think M14 at common, you have Shadowborn if possible, is a quite a valuable common. Eternal Witness, it's a good one from the dual deck. The Turtle Witness. Uh, actually, I should take these lands out too, the Tri-Lands. I think there's a Frontier Bivouac that I went by. I'll grab that later. 
There's the remand from the dual deck. Beast within from the dual deck. I'm pretty sure that's the most valuable card from that deck. Outside of the Sun Titan. Potentially more than the Sun Titan at this point. Tainted wood is not nothing. Knight's Whisper, good uncommon there. My favorite card, number one favorite card in Magic, Acidic Slime. Springleaf Drum. Once again, not nothing. The uh, Archetype. Some of those are pretty decent. The green one, I think, is the best. I guess potentially Isochron Scepter would be in here because it's an uncommon. So if I miss anything, like, I'm going to go through this lot multiple times off-camera. I almost always find things that I missed on the first one or two look-throughs. Try and get what I can this first look-through, though. Reliquary Tower, nice. It's a good uncommon. Attack more salvage. See, there's a wear and tear here. There's two of them, actually. That's the good split card from uh, Dragon's Maze. Burnished Heart, why not? There's the Isochron Scepter. I was looking for that because, you know, it's like a $10 uncommon. <laughs> At this point, whenever it gets reprinted in like a Master Set or something, it's a rare. I think rapid hybridization is pretty good. I'll just look at these upside down, how about that? Another rapid hybridization. There we go. Finally a Vandal Blast. Another archetype there. Serum Blood is played in Burn, but I don't think it's really worth anything. I'm pretty sure I have that in my sideboard, my Burn deck. Gut Shot. That was a pretty good uncommon. I mean, so I could find a Noxious Revival. Or, what is it called? Triumph of the Hordes? Possible could be in here. Yeah, has a charm. Uh, Angelic Accord is, I think, is actually potentially worth something. I don't remember. Some tokens here. There could be some decent tokens. Q 
Garrick emblem? Maybe. M14 Angel. I'll check it. So now this one. This gift box thing it's very frequently ends up like this with a wrecked corner. I've got a couple of these myself that I got new. I do still use them. Some, what is this, even tied or something? I don't know. Yeah, stink we didn't. Ponder? Um, yeah, that's a pretty good common. Another ponder, nice. I think this entire box is commons. Elves of Deep Shadow is actually not so bad. Scour. It's playable anyway, right? Alright, so there wasn't so much in this box. Basically just uh, what a stinkweed in a few ponders, which was cool. But uh, not so many good comments otherwise. I was kind of hoping to find some uh, Shadowborn Apostles, but that's alright. So there is a pretty decent stack of good stuff here. I'll take a closer look at these and then come back to you in just a second with a little recap. All right, so this actually turned out quite a bit better than I thought it would. Uh, so here's all the, the best stuff, I guess. Um, two Nykthos that I didn't know about is pretty awesome. Those are the most valuable cards. So like I said, I paid about 110 Canadian dollars for this. And then I added up everything that I found that's over, you know, like a 90 cents or so more, uh, 90 cents or more by TCG Mid. And the total came to about 450, so not bad, I guess, right? A um, couple of shock lands that I didn't know about either. Didn't know about this Colonian Hydra. Suspected these would be in here because I thought uh, the full dual decks were in here, and I think they are. Almost went by the Store of Destinies, but it's uh, actually. I remember when this was uh, reprinted in M14, it was basically a bulk rare, and now it's like $15. It's kind of crazy. There was some other pretty decent stuff in here, too. Voice is not nothing, right? Not the $60 it used to be, but uh, you know, it has a bit of value, too. And a whole bunch of other stuff in here, you know, like $1 to $4 rares and uncommons and things like that. So, overall, I'm quite quite happy with this one. And then just like usual, also a big stack of bulk rears and stuff. Looking forward to uh, using these to fill in some slots in my binders. You know, maybe they're not worth much, but uh, it's cool to try and finish some collections. Anyway, though, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. It'd be cool if you can like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. I'd encourage everyone to come join my Discord server. There's a link to that in the video description below. And I'd also like to thank all the patrons who support me on Patreon. If that's something that interests you, you can find a link to that in the video description as well. But otherwise, though, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.